Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. It's day 57 of Be Formed. I'd like to take a look at this first reading from St. Paul of the Romans, chapter 15, verses 14 to 21. It seems as though the Roman converts to Christianity, some of them uh, are boasting in their own gifts and talents rather than giving glory to God. And St. Paul calls them out. You know, so basically he's saying, I, I know that you're full of goodness, um, but, you know, I've been given this grace to be a minister of the Lord. And as a spiritual father, you know, good fathers will discipline their children and call them out when they need to. And, and so St. Paul's really calling them out. Um, and so he says, in Christ Jesus, then I have reason to boast in what pertains to God. For what, for I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me. So what you're doing is you're, you're boasting in yourself and your own abilities and talents. Um, and he says, really, this life is not about that. It's about giving glory to God. There's a part of us, our, our ego, that w- cries out for attention, doesn't it? We, uh, as Jesus says, when you go to a party, don't sit at the highest place and then you get sent down. But in humility, go to the lowest place and then maybe they will call you higher. Um, I remember in, when I was playing baseball, you know, honestly, I liked reading my name in the newspapers and in college seeing it on, on the news. And um, it was seductive to hear the loud roar of the crowd you know, when I hit a home run or something like that. And um, I wasn't giving glory to God. I was trying to, but there was a big part of me that wanted to give glory to myself. What changed is a deep encounter with the Lord Jesus and coming to know my identity as a beloved son of God. And the more I know who I am in God, the less I need to draw attention to myself. As St. Paul says, his mission is to spread the news of Christ where it's never been spread before. He wanted everyone to come to know Christ. And that's become my goal as well. Uh, And not to give glory to myself, but to give him all the honor and glory. St. Ignatius of Loyola, that was kind of his mantra was to God be the glory uh, and not to myself. And so my encouragement to you is if, if you find yourself maybe wanting to exalt yourself, you know, Jesus says the humble will be exalted. Those who exalt themselves will be humbled. How do we grow in humility? It's to recognize that, you know, every good gift comes from God. Humility is a, the recognition that the source of every good thing is God himself. So the more we realize that we are God's beloved sons and daughters, that all that we have and all that we are comes from God, um, the more we want to give him the glory. And so when somebody gives you a compliment, say, praise God, because it's recognizing the gift the person wants to give you, but it's also recognizing the source of the gift, that it's always God. And so we we have in this gospel story that can be kind of confusing, the steward was squandering his property. But at the end here, when his life was on the line, he started being generous with the master's gifts. And that's what God's goal for us, is that the more we realize that the gifts that we have are his, his to be given away, the more we want to you know, pour forth and be generous with his gifts, he'll give us more to keep giving away. So let us not boast about ourselves. Let us be generous with the gifts God has given us. And let us give him all the honor and glory so that others may come to know Christ like we have. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for all the gifts you give us. We thank you for your generosity with us. Help us to be generous with you and with others. And may we give you all the honor and glory. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Please pray for our day of equipping uh, on Friday morning and healing the whole person second night on Friday evening. God bless you.